and welcome to Zip News. In July this year, a hacking group calling themselves the Impact Team infiltrated the user data of Ashley Madison, an online dating website famous for facilitating discreet encounters between married individuals. The breach came with a threat to shut the site down or risk having that data released to the public. Ashley Madison refused to bow down to demands and on August 18 and August 20, more than 25 gigabytes of company data was released including real names, home addresses, search history and credit card transaction records. The aftermath saw a number of previously unaware and ultimately devastated wives, husbands, boyfriends and girlfriends discovering the news including this Australian caller who found out live on air that her husband held an account with Ashley Madison. That is actually on the website, Joe. Are you, are you, are you serious? Yeah, I'm sorry. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, no, no, we, yeah. Please, no, these websites are disgusting and that girl that called before, she should be ashamed of herself. Yeah. Oh, Joe's gone. Oh, I don't know if we should have done that. But soon the fallout took a more sinister turn. Toronto police have now announced that at least two individuals associated with the leak have committed suicide, unable to cope with alleged death threats and abuse as a result of their details being exposed. Canadian authorities have also warned users about scams directed at them, which promise to stop the exposure of their infidelity in return for large sums of cash. One such person that could have done with that service is reality television's Josh Duggar, star of 19 Kids and Counting. The series had already been cancelled after it was revealed that Duggar had molested a number of girls in his teens, but when intricate details of his infidelity were exposed, he was forced to release a statement acknowledging that he'd been a hypocrite, as he was director of the Family Research Council at the time of the cheating. There's currently a 500,000 Canadian dollar award for information on the hackers. While the breach exposed cheating spouses, it was certainly illegal, as were the attempts at extortion that followed. The very real consequence is numerous broken marriages and now suicides. There are no winners. I'm Jack Fuller. See you next time.